day one of New York Comic Con, and welcome to the YouTube channel, BD here, and in this video, we're vlogging. I'm going to share with you guys how everything went at the first day of New York Comic Con. First time here as a content creator. I've never done this before. I've never done a vlog before. Uh, I have an awesome weekend planned. Day one is in the books. I'm going to a party event after this for Mondo, and I'm very, very excited, but it's been an awesome day one, and I have some stories to share about the crazy way my day started. Very unexpected. Um, the panels I went to, Dune, Penguin, and Electric State. The people I ran into, which was freaking cool. Uh, and just how it's going here at New York Comic Con when I'm not working for an outlet, when I'm trying to just basically blend the media and content creator slash influencer line a little bit because I know I've walked it and now I don't work for an outlet. I'm doing my own thing. And you guys supporting this channel and watching these videos and hanging out with me is making that possible. So, uh, vlog of day one, shall we? I'm learning how difficult it is to be like a one-man band here. I remember the early days of my job 10 years ago being like a one-man band before we had a video team and I forgot how hard it was to carry the tripod and the light and the camera and press record and then edit it and post it and all that stuff. But I'm quickly remembering, but it's paying off already because I booked a junket here in New York Comic Con. I'm not going to say what it is yet. You'll know. Uh, it's kind of one of those things that I'm not going to believe until it's wrapped and done. But I have a 15-minute interview this Saturday, scheduled as of right now, that I am I, I, ooh, very excited for. Very, very grateful that it worked out. Um, and there's another junket happening here that I didn't get invited to. Venom. I'm not going to see Venom until it hits theaters. Sucks, man. I am not going to ever have the Venom comic book photo with Tom Hardy. Unless, uh, probably not, because I wouldn't go bring a Venom comic to a movie for something else. So that's, that's the first one that really stung. I really wanted to get that photo and do an interview with Tom and everybody, but I didn't get a spot, and that's just what's going to happen. i got to you know earn my way in there, and hopefully we will. When I said build a new door, this is kind of building a new door. Like I want to go out to the Mondo party, but first I'm doing this video because I have an opportunity to share stories and share my experience, hopefully build an audience and have conversations. So that's what we're doing. All right, so how did today go? Today was awesome. Today started in the most unexpected, really freaking cool way. Uh, so I go downstairs in the hotel lobby and I see Johnny Vini. <laughs> Michael from the Penguin uh, in the lobby. And I just went up to him and I was like, dude, I saw this Sunday's episode. I love your work. I love the Penguin. It's great. We got to talking about it. He asked me how I saw it. And I ended up taking a ride with him in his car over to New York Comic Con. Uh, and it was just so surreal because he was super cool. He was so, so, so nice. Um, it's just one of those surreal things that kind of only happens at Comic-Con. And that's why I love coming to Comic-Cons. Uh, first time anything like that has ever happened, but he was awesome, man. Just a really nice guy. And I think he's he's been in everything. Dawn of the Dead, Jack Ryan, uh, now Penguin. And I think Penguin is phenomenal. Uh, my day was going, it was starting at the Penguin panel on the Empire Stage in New York Comic-Con. And then... The press room for that, I reached out a little too late. I was told it's full. Uh, so I was really bummed because I've been doing these videos breaking down the Penguin episodes every Sunday night. And I have all the episodes, and I've already seen this Sundays. So I was like, oh, this would be a really good opportunity to get something to supplement that. Um, and I actually texted some friends like, hey, if you get a quote about this. Uh, you know, and, I, and they were down. But ultimately, um, Niger from Big Gold Belt was like, hey, if you want to ask the questions and just press record on my camera, we can swap and you can have my place. And he, it worked out. Like, it's just little things like that. I got to go in there and do part of the Penguin press room. It wasn't one-on-one -on -one interviews. It was round tables. So I sat with Rachel Leishman and Tessa Smith and Junior Felix um, and some other folks I didn't know yet. Uh, and we all got to ask questions. And I got to get some quotes that I'm going to feature in this Sunday and future Sunday episodes of my Penguin, of the Penguin breakdowns on this channel, uh, which is really cool. I, I take a lot of pride in being able to make like exclusive, unique content like that. So I'm definitely very excited to have like not just my insights in those videos. I appreciate that you come for those, but also insights from the people who acted it out, who wrote it, who made these things possible. Uh, that's that's a privilege, and I don't take that lightly. And I just I feel cool when I do that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hopefully, be able to do more of that in the future. I used to do it with The Walking Dead all the time. Uh, so hopefully be able to keep that going and do more and more of it um, as this channel grows and everything. Uh, so then from the Penguin panel and press room, popped over to the Dune Prophecy panel, uh, hosted by my friend Maude Garrett. She did a bang-up job, by the way. 
Dune Prophecy looks awesome. Um, it just like I mean I love I think Dune two is probably the best movie of the year. Deadpool is my favorite movie, but Dune Prophecy the trailer looked awesome. It's coming November seventeenth. That was the big takeaway there. Uh, it's introducing a new family. Mark Strong I think his name was Corinna Cur- Cur- Corinna Corinna Connor. Uh, God oh, there's Dune names Atreides. Harkonnen and Karina, I think it is. Uh, but a new family that thinks they're really powerful. It's 10,000 years before um, the events of the Dune movies, which is kind of weird. I think it's weird to have a prequel going at the same time as your mainstay of the franchise. But uh, it was a great panel. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and I feel like I, I actually, I know I learned a lot about Dune Prophecy from the panel. I made a post about it on Facebook uh, about all the things I learned there because I didn't know much about it, if I'm honest with you. I didn't know a ton about it. And then right after that was the Electric State panel. And this was so cool because I was walking out of the Dune Prophecy panel through the backstage area uh, and I ran into Joe Russo and I ran into Chris Pratt uh, and both of them just saying hello, just super nice guys. Uh, and I just think it's surreal to me that I can walk in, into Comic-Con uh, and know people like that, and they know me. I remember coming to Comic-Con for the first time 10 years ago, San Diego, 2014, and if you had told me that I would get to say hello to the guy who directed Avengers Endgame, which at first I would have been like, what's Avengers Endgame? Because it was 2014, and Age of Ultron wasn't even out yet. Uh, but it's just surreal. Those, those moments are really cool. Um, and they were there for the Electric State panel. It's an Agbo movie. It's ILM did the VFX for it. Honestly, i got to say... I know you guys know I'm a big Russo Brothers guy. The movie looks like a lot of fun. So it's Millie Bobby Brown and Chris Pratt are these human characters in like a kind of crazy future that where in the 90s animatronics became sentient and went to war with humans. Humans won the war, but so they just keep beating down robots and just treating them really poorly and the robots want equal rights. Uh, and Chris Pratt has kind of become one of the people who has formed a relationship with the robots. Millie Bobby Brown's character, seemingly based on the clip, has no family left. Is kind of like the cub who Chris Pratt's character has to take in. Marcus and McFeely, who previously did Infinity War and Game Civil War, Winter Soldier, and Thor the Dark World, but we don't talk about that one. Uh, they're back working with the Russos on this one. So it's the whole Agbo family working on it, which is cool. And I just thought the movie looked like a ton of fun. March 14th, I, I, I really want to see it. And Josh Horowitz hosted that panel. He did a really good job. Uh, and the panelists were just very insightful. They were having a lot of fun. You could just tell that uh, they liked working together, I think. Uh, Chris Pratt was just goofing around with Billy Bobby Brown, talking about his haircut and all kinds of stuff like that uh, in the movie. And they just there was a sense of levity on the stage that you could tell they were confident in the project, confident hanging out with each other. Uh, and that was really cool. Uh, didn't get to see anybody afterwards. Uh, but it was just really cool to see them right before the panel and then go sit in the, in the audience and watch the, the magic of the ILM bring these robots to life. That was pretty cool. Uh, and then now I, you know, I stopped, got Chick-fil-A and recorded this video. So, yeah, uh, and now I'm going to edit this video. And when I'm done editing this video, I'm going to pop over to the Mondo uh, event, which I'm really excited for because I'm just a nerd. I'm a huge collector. You've seen the shorts I post on this channel. You've seen my Instagram. You've seen Facebook videos. I like to unbox things, so I'm very excited to pop over to Mondo. Um, I might do one of these vlogs every day. If nobody watches this, I might not, but if you guys have fun with it, uh, I like you know, connecting with you guys and sharing my stories from these events. I wish I would have done more of this for the past 10 years. They're kind of like video diaries for me to look back at, uh, and I kind of wish I would have done more because I, back when I was doing a lot more interviews, there were just so many interactions. and moments that I just was like living the life of a contest winner to have all those uh, and now I want to take advantage of the fact that I have more time I have more freedom to post and say and do whatever I want with my day I have to do what works best because I got to grow these channels being here is not free it's adding up to do this stuff uh, but yeah that's uh, I'm happy to share it with you guys so thank you so much for hanging I hope you enjoyed this little vlog we did I don't think I've ever done this before so hope you enjoyed uh, see you tomorrow for more Comic-Con coverage. I'll be at the Lord of the Rings press line. I got a junk. Of, oh, thank you to Warner Brothers and Universal for the things they've set up for me this weekend. Uh, and just, I'm very excited for a few of the things that are coming to the channel soon. So subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.